Holy patch notes. Wow. Hi, I'm Daniel and I'm, I'm truly stunned. I was like, wait, what? Just the first line of the patch notes got me real excited. <laughs> Thanks for all the feedback and bingo cards. If you have no idea what bingo cards mean, I highly recommend checking out the Scizorin interview. But to get to the point, area to area or map to map gameplay. We will be allowing you to itemize corpses as they drop. This alone just fixes a major issue for me. I streamed the league launch over the weekend for I think easily 12 hours and finally got my void stones yesterday and my build is questionable. So difficulty part, I can't really say anything because my build sucks. But the one issue that I had was itemizing corpses manually over and over and then putting it in my stash tab or technically my inventory then go to the stash then put it in the stash then oh god it's so annoying just thinking about it with this <laughs> my voice <laughs> with this this solves a major issue that i also had with beasts because you have to itemize beasts i pray to god they put that quality of life into beasts because now I can farm beasts potentially in the future. So this just opens up more fun I can have in a league, right? I can farm more things instead of thinking about Legion all day, every day. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of other stuff, for example, that, you know, they increased the whole crafting situation, which felt very weird. And Grimro had a great video on that without a proper third-party tool like Craft of Exile, seeing the waiting and then actually calculating it in a goddamn Excel spreadsheet. It's just impossible to know what is even good. Does this help me? Does this make it worse? It's so overcomplicated. I mean, that's the whole waiting system in Path of Exile, right? So you don't get super easy items very, very quickly. So they have to make it a little bit abstruse. I don't know what the name is. It's, it's a little bit whack, let us say that. But it also allows for the people that are good at crafting to, you know, play around with the crafting system and figure things out and then they can feel special and make stuff for players that don't want to bother with this kind of stuff it's great I, I like that a lot now i always want when it comes to crafting to lift the bottom and don't increase the top too heavily for example harvest had like insane top where you made like god tier mirror tier items which was maybe a little bit too easy and too fast and all that jazz but the problem was always lift the bottom right it's not about making it super great for the 0.1% of players that will just shoot out mirror tier items. It's about making the average player have fun with the league mechanic, not make it annoying, and now they can craft their items as they progress through the game without having to, like, dream of the goddamn necropolis area, you know? It's just annoying to think, oh god, I need like 20 more corpses of this because I have to like make it 2,000% scarcer. It's like, that's super annoying. I don't know if this patch, you know, will fully fix it, but it says something along the lines of, we have removed the tears from most of the crafts. They will now have the values of the existing highest tier always. For example, instead of being able to get 200% or 500% increased chance for lightning modifiers, it will now always be 500%. So this makes it a lot easier, I think, for the average Joe to quickly get lots of increased chance that hopefully makes it easier for them to get their items. Is it going to be perfect? Probably not, because this whole crafting system is still quite complex, because it actually wants you to, of course, not only increase the chance of modifiers you want, for example, lightning, but if you then don't want lightning attack, you want to make attack scarcer and scarcer and scarcer, and then maybe increase some other stuff as well, right? You want to balance things, which is fine. It's not for me, but I hope the average player can at least get their... They can get a good wand at the end of, like, Act 10. I'm gonna be happy. You know, that, that, that's just the minimum. I feel like that should be the minimum. If people invest time into this league mechanic from day one onward, they should, after, like, going through 10 acts and picking up every corpse, they should at least be able to make a really good plus one item. Just one. Just one. We don't need, like, three plus one items and then just printing out stuff doesn't have to be but still a little bit just make it a little bit easier speaking of easier 
the grave crafts that reroll sockets and links have been significantly buffed. Whatever that means, I don't think we should get six links during the story, right? That would be too much in my opinion. But if a new player could, for example, get a five link, if they invest the time into the graveyard, figure it out instead of just saying, whatever, I'm gonna play, detonate dead, four link, and then just run through the story and, you know, do other stuff, right? That you should be rewarded for the time you put in. I know this is all just numbers game, right? And it's super complicated, but reading this, I was like, yeah, we're on the right path. We're on the right path of like lifting this league up again, I think just quality wise, feeling wise. And I'm, I'm very excited for what, what's about to happen because this is day one. This is day one or technically day two because we had Monday of a new league after the weekend. That's huge. That's you, that they instantly realized. Okay, this is bad. Let's just let's fix it. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> that just makes me really excited, and I will definitely be playing more now. With now finally two void stones done, I am blasting my blade vortex power charge stacker, which was my leak starter. That has a completely different issue. I might talk about that. It's really bad. Don't do what I did. But I do have to say one big positive thing at the end. The sheer amount of like pack size you can get and the sheer amount of like just monsters and, and juice you can have in maps now feels like 20 to 30 percent more like on average in my opinion because i got now all the searing exoc pack size monsters and my god my maps feel they feel thick <laughs> i don't know there's no other way to say it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to stay hydrated gamers and until next time when I talk about... I, I won't talk about my Blade Vortex, but it, God, it sucks ass! <laughs>